Thank you, Dr. Wenstrup, Chairman. It's been insinuated that politicians, only politicians, only bloggers, only conspiracy theorists are disagreeing with you. I want to point out that I'm probably the only member of Congress that actually treated patients during the pandemic from the very beginning to the very end of the pandemic during night shifts in the ER. Thousands of patients during that time. And uh, in 2020, I was censored. My medical license was threatened because I disagreed with bureaucrats. Literally taken off the internet as a person who is treating patients with leading edge technologies, developing theories, but doing my very best, but being censored by the United States government for the first time stepping in and taking the place of medical professionals as the experts in healthcare. Any dissent surrounding COVID-19 treatments, mass mandates, and any public policy surrounding the pandemic was immediately labeled as anti-science. And what's funny is everything I was censored on, I was proven to be right. Pretty crazy, isn't it? You said in an interview that you gave as part of an audiobook written by Michael Spector uh, that you believed an institutional should make it hard for people to, to live their lives so they'd feel pressured to get vaccinated. Could we re, re, uh, run the audio clip on that, please? You think can be done about it. I have to say that I don't see a big solution other than some sort of mandatory vaccination. I know federal officials don't like to use that term. Once people feel empowered and protected legally, you are going to have schools, universities, and colleges are going to say, you want to come to this college, buddy? You're going to get vaccinated. Lady, you're going to get vaccinated. Yeah. Big corporations like Amazon and Facebook and, and, and all of those others are going to say, you want to work for us, you get vaccinated. And it's been proven that when you make it difficult for people in their lives, they lose their ideological bullshit and they get vaccinated. Thank you. Are all objections to COVID vaccinations ideological bullshit, Dr. Fauci? No, they're not, and Thank that's you. not what I was referring to. Well, in reference to making it hard for people to get education, traveling, working, I'd say it very much was in context. And I take great offense to this. Miss Allison Williams testified before this committee about losing her job because she sought an exemption for ESPN's vaccine mandate, which came from recommendations from bureaucrats like yourself. She and her husband were actively working with a fertility expert, a physician, on how to get pregnant and agreed with the premise that she was young, healthy, wanted to get pregnant, and shouldn't get the vaccination for medical purposes. But she was fired because you made it hard, just like you said in your statement, because you didn't want to make sure that the ideological bullshit got in the way of her working, of living her life, of making a medical decision with her healthcare professional. I think America should take great offense to this. That's exactly what you meant when you said making it hard for people to live without getting a vaccination. You affected people's ability to work, travel, be educated, to actually flourish in American society, to self-determine as we're all given God-given rights. Shame on you. Dr. Fauci, you've become Dr. Fear. Americans do not hate science. I don't hate science. The American people hate having their freedoms taken from them. This was a time in history where you got to throw out the first pitch at the Washington Nationals baseball game while Americans were forced to stay home and watch such events that they love from at home alone on their televisions. And what a hypocrisy this picture shows. Here you are without your mask, with empty seats everywhere. Remember the cardboard cutout fans? That was one of the most insulting things to Americans, having to watch the games from home where you got to go and enjoy the game and sit right next to people, not following the six feet of distancing, not wearing your mask, and everyone else was forced to stay home and stop enjoying life. And your science here, your science is displayed perfectly in this picture where children Children in school were put in plastic bubbles because of your science, your repulsive, evil science. And let's go back to your very own email. You said earlier you don't use email. Oh, you do, right here. This is your own email where you said the typical mask you buy in the drugstore is not really 
effective in keeping out virus. I do not recommend that you wear a mask. This is your email, this is your own words. But yet children, children all over America were forced to wear masks. Healthy children forced to wear masks, muzzled in their schools. And then they were forced to learn from home because of your so-called science and your medical suggestions while you and all your cronies get paid from Big Pharma. You know that what this committee should be doing? We should be recommending you to be prosecuted. We should be writing a criminal referral because you should be prosecuted for crimes against humanity. So again, even hearing those things, right? You can 